Soon, some cancer patients may have to travel further to get treatment. As WBZ's Nick Giovanni tells us, a hospital in Framingham may discontinue some cancer services. Metro West Medical Center's Framingham Union campus is the subject of a public hearing set to be hosted by the Department of Public Health in Framingham Wednesday night. Members of the public invited to weigh in on the campus, possibly scrapping certain cancer services. We would like to see, you know, a stronger Department of Public Health, you know, that has the public health's interest um, at Paramount be able to say, no, this is an essential service for this community. You will not be closing it. DPH received a 90-day notice back in May from the CEO of Metro West Medical Center documenting the proposed closure of oncology infusion and radiation oncology services at the Framingham Union campus. Medical Center, citing declining demand for its cancer services, now plans to consolidate both of those programs with its sister hospital, St. Vincent, in Worcester, while still providing medical oncology, cancer screening, imaging, and cancer-related surgical procedures. If you don't have a car, um, and you don't have public transportation, how are you going to get to Worcester to get, to get your care? Katie Murphy, the president of the Massachusetts Nurses Association, says she's lived in Framingham for almost 40 years and plans to speak at tonight's public hearing. Union, she says, does not represent any nurses at Framingham Union. We feel that, you know, any service that a community loses, you know, affects you know our patients all over all over the state and when people get a cancer diagnosis it is it's a devastating diagnosis and a lot of people do go into the big academic medical centers in boston to maybe get their surgery to get a consultation but then I think the majority of people get their care in the community. Senators Ed Markey and Elizabeth Warren, along with Assistant Speaker of the House Catherine Clark, calling for the owner, Tenant Healthcare, to reconsider the closure. Writing in a letter, the decision to terminate these services will exacerbate health inequities for the most vulnerable patients. Tonight's public hearing is scheduled to start at 6 o'clock in Nevins Hall, and you can call in to comment as well. Reporting from Framingham, Nick Giovanni, WBZ News.